This is a patient of primary hemochromatosis. This is a genetic condition by which increased absorption and storage of iron takes place throughout the body, notably in the liver. Due to hemochromatosis, the liver appears echogenic and shows a coarse echo texture on ultrasound. Mild hepatomegaly is also present in this patient. This condition must be distinguished from hemocydrosis. In hemocydrosis, the spleen is primarily affected, while in hemochromatosis, it is the liver that is primarily affected. The ultrasound appearances of hemochromatosis are thus very similar to those of early cirrhosis of the liver. Without proper management, hemochromatosis of the liver can progress to frank cirrhosis. Primary hemocydrosis is genetic in origin, while secondary hemochromatosis is usually due to frequent blood transfusion and the resultant iron overload. On color Doppler, we should look for portal hypertension and reverse flow in the portal vein. In this patient, there is normal flow in the portal vein with flow in the portal vein towards the liver and not away from it. Thus, the flow in this patient is towards the liver and hence red in color. This is thus normal flow. However, if the disease progresses to frank cirrhosis and portal hypertension, flow in the, in the portal vein would be reverse and away from the liver. This would appear as blue in color. Thus, the no normal flow in the portal vein in this patient is a good sign and a sign of good prognosis. A spectral Doppler trace of the portal vein shows normal flow and normal peak systolic velocity in the portal vein. Thus, a normal spectral Doppler trace of the portal vein further affirms that this patient is not in any imminent danger. The spleen appears to be mildly enlarged, which is also often seen in hemochromatosis. Follow-up ultrasound and MRI scan confirmation has been advised.